Good afternoon to you all on the second day of our national lockdown. I'm Mark Long, Rector of St Andrew's Church, Anglican Church in Newlands, and I've committed myself to ringing the bell at 12 o'clock each day and spending some time in prayer and then reflection on the daily Eucharist readings. Today, um, something out of the John's Gospel uh, came to mind. We've been following John for the last week. And um, there's a disagreement as to who Jesus might be. Uh, and it ends up with the temple soldiers who've been sent off to arrest Jesus returning without him. And interestingly, having heard him speak, having interacted with him, uh, they have come to believe. They certainly are unwilling to arrest him on the charges that they've been sent to arrest him on. Uh, it leads to some discussion with the scribes and Pharisees. And you see even the questioning within their own group, um, largely around an expectation that Jesus would come um, or the Messiah would come from Judah, not from Galilee. And uh, just because of their knowledge, unable to, in a sense, accept the surprise that Jesus is and, and to respond to that. For many of us, uh, I think this coronavirus has been a surprise. Um, trying to work out what it means for us is, is quite challenging. Uh, a colleague sent through a, a clip of uh, T.D. Jakes, the uh, pastor evangelist, I uh, often wish I could preach in that, with that kind of passion. Um, but he interestingly refused to um, re reflect on, on whether or not the coronavirus was, was God's action on, on the world um, and, and whether it in fact was some kind of retribution or, or the wrath of God on us. Uh, he just refused to go there, which I found helpful. Um, but instead said that the coronavirus has something that has woken us up. And um, if there is a purpose in it, perhaps it is that we awaken to, to who we are as human beings in today's world. And uh, it struck me that as we have all entered into this time of lockdown, um, there, is a, there is a real willingness to begin to look beyond ourselves. Some of us may be locked down out of our own fear and anxiety, um, but for many of us, I think there is an awareness that, that we're doing this for others. And um, within it, to begin asking the question, you know, what, what is God doing? What is God saying? And acknowledging that God does um, come at us from surprising angles sometimes. And while this uh, virus without doubt um, is, is hugely destructive, um, there's a, a deep amount of suffering for many through it. Um, there is also the opportunity for us to, to just reflect and grow, um, to deepen our awareness of ourselves, of God's purpose in our lives, and to just trust that God is walking with us. Uh, we, we are not alone. Um, in those moments where we wish God would, would wave that magic, um, that magic wand and just make it all disappear, uh, to remember that Scripture reminds us constantly that that has never been God's promise but that God's promise always is to walk beside us, uh, to be that friend, to be that carer, to be that lover, to be the one that, that really does uh, resource us in our times of, of great and deep need. And so through our times of ongoing reflection in these days, may we, may we know that loving, caring, uh, peaceful presence of God, and may we grow in and through that, and uh, as individuals, as communities, as a nation, I pray that we may be strengthened and renewed. Thank you. Have a good rest of the day. Blessings.